Hey everyone, it's Haley, aka Studios Haley, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be showing y'all a day in my life. So, I like to wake up at around 7 a.m. Um, this is basically every day. Um, I just like waking up early, and yeah, even if I'm really tired. Um, so first things first, I'll pull back my bangs, um, and then I will wash my face and put in some moisturizer. I usually also go to the bathroom first thing in the morning because I drink way too much water and I always have to go to the bathroom really badly. Um, but here I am showing you my pinky. Uh, I got hit by a bike on Monday, the day before I was filming this, so that's explained a bit more in the vlog that's going up on Sunday, but yeah, if you want to know more about that, check that out. But then I like to make my bed, I'll drink some water as well. Um, today I just kind of sloppily made it, I wasn't really filming it, but then I got changed into my outfit of the day, and then I like to put on some makeup some days, I'll wear a full face of makeup, other days I'm just like... Now let's do like eyebrows and mascara and that's about it, which is what I did today. Um, it just depends on how I'm feeling. And then I will fix my hair, fix the bangs. Today I just put it in a ponytail, very nice and simple. And then I will pack my backpack for the day. Um, this is a new pencil bag that my mom got for me. It's actually a makeup bag, but I thought it was cute. I'll fill up my water bottle and pack up everything that I need. So my folder with all my work in it, um, computer, a bullet journal, just things like that. And then I like to grab a sweater. This is my favorite gray one. And I'll just throw that in my bag, wrap it up in there, make sure it stays. And that way um, I'm not cold during lectures. And then I will turn off my nightlight. Yes, I have a nightlight. I'm scared of the dark, so this is a great investment. And then I will pick an apple from my apple bowl. And I eat apples like every day, so they're always a great snack in between classes. And then I will put on my jewelry, so watch ring and all that, um, deodorant, and then perfume, and then I always brush my teeth, of course, gotta keep them pearly whites, um, and then I will grab my keys, and then it is time to leave for the day. I'll open up my blinds because I like to have some natural light, and when I come back, you can hear me say, ow, because it hurt my finger when I did this. Um, I jammed it, to say the least, and I popped like a blood vessel too. Um, but more about that in the on Sunday's vlog, so yeah, make sure to go, or make sure to subscribe if you want to know more about that. Um, but then I'll leave, and my RA actually hung up this balloon on our doors, because it was National Balloon Day, and it was really, really cute. Um, so I'll lock my door, obviously, gotta keep it locked, and then it's off to breakfast, actually, first thing in the morning. Um, I try and get out of my room at about 7.45, and by the time I get my breakfast, it's about 8.00. Um, you can see a bit of a 8 a.m. rush right there going on. Um, not that busy right there, but very much busier elsewhere. But this is the dining hall, and I like to get cereal in the morning. Love Frosted Flakes, and then I always love the bagel with green cheese. And then today they had watermelon. If you get there early, you can get watermelon. Um, but here's a bit of Sabiza, which is the dining hall where we eat at, or well, one of the dining halls. I always go to Sabiza because it's closer. And then we have these stupid veal ride things, and I have to take one because my bike is essentially totaled um, from my bike wreck. Yeah, a lot of bike wreck references. It was it was terrible. Anyway, so I get to my building. My first lecture of the day is government. Here I actually got to class about an hour early. I like doing that um, on these particular days and I'll work on some stuff. So I was working on an essay for another class there. Um, but then it is time for the lecture. Lectures let out 20 minutes early. They have, they have like 20 minute breaks in between. So um, in between like when one starts and one ends. So you can get there, like, you can get in the lecture room 20 minutes early, which is really nice. Oh, and here I'm showing you, I got a 90 on my first exam, which isn't the best grade, but I was very proud of it. Um, and if I didn't mention that was my government class, don't really like government, but the lecture is really nice. And then I make a speedy cycle over to the LAAH, which is the Liberal Arts and Humanities class, or building, um, and I actually have a recitation, which is a for my math class and like we can ask the TA questions about homework, but here you can see I'm actually working on an essay, again, the same essay, um, I, it was due the next day so I really wanted to get it like done and like consolidated, um, but then once that's done, it is off to lunch, so yeah, we're back at Sabiza, I eat here quite a bit, pretty much three days a week, or no, three meals a week, this was the lunch today, it was pork chops, potatoes, and what is that, broccoli. Very good. And then I will walk back to my room. And this, around this point, I'm exhausted. Like, I hate stairs. If I don't have the legs of the rock by the end of the semester, I will be very disappointed because I live on four flights of stairs, or on the fourth floor. So it's 
very exhausting and I'm tired. Um, but I always take my supplements and vitamins after this class and then I like to um, read a lot. So I decided to read during my little break. So I'm currently reading The Rise and the Fall of Dinosaurs, which is like a history of dinosaurs. And I love dinosaurs and it's really good and I love it. And I eat some goldfish along with this, even though I just had lunch. But anyway, then I went through my pencil bag and I found a pen that I had finished that day. I've been going through a lot of pens. Look, that's like eight pens. This is actually my flashcard box, so you can see like I have my government flashcards and like those are some computing flashcards because I was confused about definitions, but look at all the pens I've been through. We're only on week six, like I just started week six and I've already gone through eight pens, I think that is. That's insane. That's a lot of pens. <laughs> but yeah, then I normally will just sit and chill for a little bit because the day has been really hectic, even though it's only been two classes. It's been a little hectic, but um, today I wanted to look up some minors because um, I'm thinking about doing a minor in addition with my major. And then it's time to go to class again. So my next class of the day is a computing class, and you can see me here packing up my big laptop because my little Chromebook that I have that I take with me everywhere does not support Python, which really sucks because um, this computer is very, very heavy. Um, but you can see me taking off my sweater again because I was about to go outside and, you know, the 100 degree heat um, and a sweater's not <laughs> the best choice. Um, but I'll pack up my things and then we are off and there's me hurting my finger again when I picked up the camera. Um, but I went to the VO ride things, and this is the situation that I normally have to, like, go in, even with my own bike. Um, it's not, it's kind of a dangerous situation, I think, with the computer right there, um, but oh well. But here is one of the lecture rooms in the Zachary building. Okay, here's the and I even put an extra comment that says that homework is 30%, And these buildings are really, really cool. Um, I really love the Zachary building. It's so beautiful. And it even has its own Starbucks. And the Starbucks line was a little backed up today. You can see all those drinks. But we ended up getting my Starbucks drink. Um, love Starbucks. I get an ice cream tea lemonade. I love it. Um, but then I actually rented a study room. Or reserved it. You can reserve study rooms at a lot of places like the libraries or the engineering building. And they're a really nice way to like get some work done while being in, like not in your room distracted by other stuff. And I felt really bad because I was a a little late to my like reservation because I was getting Starbucks and like normally the Starbucks line I can like make it to the reservation in time um, but it was a little long today um, so I didn't really make it in time but um, basically I had to um, kick some guys out and I felt really really bad but oh well um, but you can see on my Starbucks cup they didn't spell my name right <laughs> they put EE -E instead of EY oh well um, but then I, the first thing that I did when I got to my study room was check my planner and I decided on the things that I wanted to work on today and the first thing that I decided to do was go through the lecture notes that we um, had today in my computing lecture. And I cannot focus in that lecture at all. It's just, ugh. so I find it more useful to go through the lecture notes myself when the teacher's not going through them at rapid fire. Um, but here are those lecture notes. And then here are the lecture notes that I took in government today. They're a bit more messy, but um, still decent, I think. Um, and then I will check that off of my list and this is my bullet journal i love my bullet journal i highly recommend um but then i wanted to finish my essay basically um so this was for my environmental changes class which is technically a geography class and so i was talking about marine tourism and how it affects the environment and here i am just showing you it's basically all finished however um i w highlighted some points i wanted to go through the next day um so i just thought a break would do me well because i was getting sick of that essay by this point um, but then I went on to my computing textbook. It's an online textbook. And it has like problems in there that you can do. And I just took some notes off of things that I thought helped. And that bottle right there, that bottle looks very interesting. Um, I don't know if that looks weird or not, but that's actually just a hand sanitizer. So yeah, anyway, then I will check off more things. And then I decided that I didn't really have much time to do anything else because I had about 10 minutes left in my study room. So I just planned for the next day. Here's me saying hello in the bathrooms. And then it, I leave and go back to my room. There's the Starbucks. It's really cool. Um, so the VO ride bike things had poor connections, so they would not work. And I was so mad because I actually had to get to a dance class, which is what I'm packing my bag for now. So I had to like sprint to my dorm. Um, but I packed that up. I take a dance class on Tuesdays and Thursdays. 
um, from 7 to 8 at the Student Rec Center, and I've been dancing for 16 years, and, it, and it's a beginner's <laughs> ballet class, so um, if you've been dancing for 16 years or a long a period of time, you can understand how I feel about it. Like, we learned how to do grand jetés today. Yeah, but I still really, really enjoy the class. I love everyone in there. I love the teacher. It's a really nice way to, like, de-stress because I don't really have to, like, worry about making everything perfect and, like, it's just, it's, I really, really enjoy it and it's a really nice way to de-stress. And the studio is really cool as well. The floor is really sticky, though, because it's not marly. Um, but yeah, but here's some of my stuff. Here's the cool, like, basketball court things they have. And then here I am showing you my elastic. The elastic broke off of my shoe today. Um, I guess I pulled it weird and it just broke off. Um, but then it's time to leave after eight. Um, go down the stairs, of course. And then by the time class is over, it's really, really dark. And I'll walk or ride back to my or ride the bike back to my dorm, and then I will go get food. So the dining hall actually closes right as my dance class ends, and so normally I end up doing a meal trade. Um, I like to go to Chick-fil-A, usually like once a week, which is not that great, but um, I will head to the underground food court, which is really cool. It's by Sabiza. Here it is. The Chick-fil-A line is always very long, but it is definitely worth it. And so once I got my Chick-fil-A, I came back, filled up my Brita filter so I could drink some water, and ate my nuggets. That sounded very weird, but I ate my chicken nuggets and the beautiful world of Jeffree Star actually like released um, the day that I was filming this. So you can see me smiling because I was laughing until like the beginning because I watched a bit of the beginning. Um, but then I needed to go take a shower. So I grabbed my shower caddy and I grabbed my towel. And here we have my robe again. I wear my robe all the time. My room is absolutely freezing, um, but I love my robe. And then I will grab my keys because you need um, either your key or your card to get into the dining. No, not the dining. No, the showers, um, the, like the restrooms. And the showers and restrooms are actually um, right across from my room, so that's cool. And you could see me waving to the sensor activator thing because the lights go off after like it doesn't sense anyone in there. Um, yeah, and I hate the dark, so I was just waving to it to activate it a bit quicker. Um, but once I'm out, I'll do a bit of skincare. I'll take off any makeup that is left over and I'll brush my teeth and here I am taking some leave to help with swelling all over my body from getting pummeled into the ground basically um <laughs> but then we'll change into pajamas and here I am putting some fuzzy blue socks on I love them and then I what am I doing here oh I'm unpacking my bag I like to unpack everything um makes me feel a bit more at home and then Oh, there's me realizing that I had brushed my teeth <laughs> and I was eating something else after brushing it. Oh well. Um, and then I'll basically check off my habit trackers. I've been trying to keep track of like habits and things that I want to focus on. Um, so like sleep, studying, reading, and other things like calling home and stuff like that to make sure, you know, I keep in line with some things that I'd like to do. And then I'll read for a little bit, again, my book about dinosaurs. And then I'll unmake my bed, so reverse what I did in the morning. And then on this particular day, um, I made a card for my RA on my floor, because it was her birthday the next day. Um, and then I turned my um, nightlight back on, because I hate the dark. And oop, pulled my hair a little bit, um, trying to get my towel off, but put that in the dirty clothes hamper. And it was time to go to bed. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on Sunday with a new video. Bye!